Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and part three of Blackreach, where we're searching for an Elder Scroll so we can find that elusive Dragon Wren shout. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So, into Alftand uh, cath Cathedral. Make sure we've got everything on. No, I want those on. And that on. Excuse me. This is a great ruin, actually. Hasn't got any puzzles or anything, but it's a really... That's a chance. <laughs> she is an idiot. Okay, dealt with them. Start for lightning bolts, another one. Don't need it. Eggs, nom nom. Chorus eggs, nom nom. There's loads of little ingredients around here. And I'll show you later a little place where you can pick up loads of glowing mushrooms. And they're definitely worth getting. Pick, no, no, potion of water breathing. Handy, but I've got a necklace that gives me that. Okay, if you go up here, there's loads and loads of glowing mushrooms. I won't get them all, but uh, I suggest strongly that you do. I disappear off for ingredient foraging. Um, missions every now and again, so I've got them. Everything coming up my my bum at the moment. Plenty as I need. And a couple of chests. Now that's not bad. That is not bad at all. But again, all these chests are level, so you come at a low level, you won't be getting loot like that. But uh, it's still very decent loot. Anyway, there's another chest over there. Oh, I don't need the gloves for this. Maybe I do. Bosh. Shield of resist fire, that's good. And I'll take that. And hit the lever, opens the gates. And if you look at right here, a little chest. Bug rule in it. Go around the back here, there's another one. Diamond. 
So. But if you watch the walls as well, um, there's always chests on there. Anyway, take care of this chap here. Good night. Yep. Grand cell, what that? Daedric arrows, nom nom. And there's always another centurion over here, already been killed. Grand cell, ruby, yep, Daedric arrows, nom nom. Nothing here. For some reason I had it in my head there was a chest there. And maybe this side. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can use the chest somewhere. more yes I'm not grabbing all the soul gens but if you guys haven't got your enchanting up to 100 which you want to do for the uh, double enchantment perks and grab every single one anyway so we come in here we can see uh, a confrontation with Sulla and Uma or Umanen I can't remember her name we'll see soon enough um, Sulla's got completely paranoid of course you want me to leave just waiting for me to turn my back have all the glory for yourself. Someone... Yeah, you have to kill them because they, they will attack you. Okay, you get a unique item here, which is Taj the Bloody when Bashin does three points of bleeding damage for five seconds. It's a unique, unique item, uh, and I think it can be disenchanted as well. Um, I haven't double checked that though. And an Imperial Sword of Ice. It was not a bad sword actually. He can take his armour. And a nice bit of loot in here. I think I will need my lock picking stuff. Guildmaster's gloves, where are you? There you go. And a potion. I'll fortify lock picking. Should do the trick. I had the key. <laughs> Anyway, you can go to uh, Skyrim. There's no loot there for some reason. I thought it's somewhere else. That's because I'm a Burke. Never listen to me. <laughs> um, there are scholars in Cyrodiil who have dedicated their lives to solving the mystery of the Dwemer. Just go over here and. Uh, oh, chest. Gold 200. Oh, I've got to try that one. Spell time. Hangman's noose. Yeah. I'll see how that goes. Eh, I've already got that enchantment, but uh, worth taking, I guess. Okay, activate the uh, dwarven mechanism and the stairs drop down. Okay, we're in Blackreach oh, itself. It's um, nice. This is an incredible uh, place. Um, but as I said right at the beginning, I'm going to uh, shoot through this as quick as possible because you could spend hours down here just exploring Blackreach. Um, so for the sake of this quest, I'm just going to show you one place that you do want to go um, and then just take you through it as quickly as possible. Um, it's full of Falmer um, and Dwarven Spears and stuff like that. So be careful. Okay, take this guy out. Dwarven bolts, nom nom. Okay, Cinderian's uh, field laboratory. 
He's a throwback uh, from Morrowind, as I understand it. So you've got an alchemy skill book here. And started another side quest, which will bring me back into Black Reach, actually. It gives me a reason to come back. Daedra Heart, lovely. Tons of ingredients here. So make sure you loose it well. Loads and loads of stuff here. Moon sugar, nom nom. Oh, crab chitin, lovely. Achievement sphere, take that. He has one as well. And Cinderian and his journal. That's uh, worth a read. Got loads of those. Oh yeah, forgot about those leather boots are hauling. They could be really handy if you're getting a, a little bit uh, low on your carry weight or high on your carry weight, which depends which way you look at it. Yeah, I uh, read uh, Cinderian's journal here, so I'll cut that out because uh, it's a really long read. Really worth reading those yourself if you've got time. Uh, and I would read it if I wasn't doing this video. So, anyway. Let's get the hell out of here. And you're sitting Crimson Nern Roots on the way, pick them up. Well, if you want to, if you want to come back and uh, do the quest line. It's an awesome, awesome place, this. Absolutely awesome. It's huge. It's underground rivers, catacombs, um, everything. Can't resist taking a pot shot. I don't need to. Good night. I get a sense of satisfaction taking long range shots like that. I can hear one near me. And these farmer servants, I haven't found them anywhere else. Uh, they have uh, really good ingredients uh, on occasions. 
I knew I could hear one flapping away. Uh, yeah, I've tried to talk to them. Uh, you can't. They're, um, they'll just attack you. There's another crimson gnome root. Yeah, spend a bit of time around Blackreach picking up 30. And it does take a bit of time to do that as well. Uh, a couple more servants, let's take care of them. I'd like to know what their story is, actually. Um, because they're quite prepared to fight for the Falmer. Good night. Okay. I could have sneaked through and not killed them, but hey, why not? If you're coming back, you'll have to take him out anyway. And we're heading over to that big tower in the distance there. That's where you want to go. It's a real creepy place. I might do this on a live stream. I've, uh, I've never done a live stream, so I might give it a pop. Okay. Come on, Janice. I don't want to leave you behind. Get on the lift. Ah, oh, Sodger. Okay, nothing extra there. Okay, this is where a guy called Droki has been living. Lots of stuff to loot around here as well. I probably missed a few bits and bobs, but there's a chest. Well, that's not bad. Go mushroom, nom nom. Scroll of candlelight, scroll of muffle. Okay. Fresh egg. So you pick up some pretty damn good ingredients uh, down in this place. That's always yeah, handy to have. Armour's Challenge, I think that's a skill book. I think it's one I've already read. I'm sure I've missed something, but hey, it doesn't matter. So anyway, we're going to go and find uh, Droki's body in here, and I'll read you from his journal uh, before we uh, carry on. I weren't never one for writing about my life. The king priests of old deserve their stories told, but Droki is a simple man, so this isn't no journal, and I'm not telling stories here, but this infernal machine done works its way into my brain space, and I won't leave till it's figured out. 
the whole contraption just sets like a dead hawker if he doesn't have the box. Putting the box in the hole made it all come to life. Five rings, but only four buttons. Most of them don't work, most of the time, anyhow. When the lights line up, more open, but they don't seem to help. Just make another damn thing move. The old flea bag Khajiit what sold me this cube said something about the lights through the knowledge, through the machine rests on the cube. I remember because he made me say it back at him till I wanted to throttle him. So I did. Tried to leave, but walls at the top and them eyeless freaks outside the tower. Gotta stay here till I get it right, and I will get it right. So, Drokey was a murdering piece of shit. Anyway, I'll show you how to work the puzzle. Pop the box in here. Now go to the fourth button, press it four times. And four. That makes the second button light up, so press that twice. Okay, and that should make the first button, and press that once. And job done. Don't forget to take the cube as well. And there we have it, the Elder Scroll. That's it, completed Elder Knowledge. And don't worry, you don't have to go all the way through the whole thing again, just come through here. I don't think there's any extra loot, there may have been, I missed some, but uh, nothing of any consequence. Hey, Bob's your uncle. It brings you up into the Tower of Mazark. So, activate the lever to come out, there's nothing in here. And there's like a little camp with a few bits and bobs around. And oddly enough, it's brought me out pretty close to one of my homes called Jarkin Hall. And uh, you can see by the map how vast the uh, distances we've travelled uh, underground. Absolutely amazing Dwemer ruin. It's taken just over an hour to actually get through it going quickly as we have in a very direct route. Uh, that's out without exploring any of the ruin and uh, not exploring Black Reach at all. So it's an incredible place and we'll be heading back into Black Reach at some stage. So, job done. We have the Elder Scroll. Now it's time to go and see Parthenax at the uh, top of the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.